could be a liberal, you could be a conservative. Did he shoot the gate here? All I gotta say is Hawk to a girl had a chance to save this country. Wallahi! Wallahi! Welcome in, babies. <laughs> to another episode of the Eight Raps Podcast. This week we have one topic and one topic alone, and other th little mini topics. But it is, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Can we restart that? No, no, no keep it's going. Good. That keep so going. <laughs> that was great. We're talking about the assassination of former President Donald Donald Trump. You're talking like you're drunk. Why are yeah? You sound like you're drunk. Okay. Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. Did I got a lot get, of sunlight. Did you get drunk before you did this? No, episode? I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I've been, I've been like hooked on the news lately. Okay. And I've been <laughs> watching, watching the shooter, watching all these clips. Like I've been clip, I've been binge clipping. I've been hooked on clips. I'm binging. You know, people binge alcohol. I'm binging clips. And it's the attempted assassination. It's not assassination. He the two people behind him. What if he was aiming for the people behind Trump? He wasn't. You know, he so wasn't. sad, sad that those two people had passed away. Uh, it's unfortunate. We're going to watch every single thing. I know that there's like memes and stuff like half of it's hard to talk about because it's like political satire, you know, mm -hmm. that he was safe. But the other people, it's really fucked up that they passed away. Yeah. I mean, any assassination attempt is not the best thing in the world, no matter how much you hate the guy, you know? Yeah. Frogan disagrees with the, you. Frogan yeah, disagrees I know, with I know you. she disagrees. I know. I know she disagrees, but I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's just shows how f we are as a country. You know what I mean? Yeah. I definitely would mourn the death of a right wing fascist that has projected racism and exclusion for years and years and years. If he were to actually die. Wait, what? <laughs> she I said didn't mourn. She, basically she's being sarcastic. She was being sarcastic. Got it. I, I, mean, I realize that people don't. Uh, Frogan's been having a hard time recently with sarcasm, especially on this podcast. People don't get it, and I think I just got a glimpse of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's on you if you don't get it. No, your sarcasm I don't doesn't get come it. across very good. Sometimes, sometimes I don't get it. Most of the time, I, I mean, get everyone it. around that you is like, "We I don't get it." You're like, "It's on you." I'm like, "What is this?" A deep you know, cut? the reason why I didn't get it that time is because I was like, "Oh, Frogan's saying something. Let me intently listen to what she has to say." And I was so <laughs> invested in what you had to say, I didn't even register it as sarcasm. Okay. Frogan's sarcasm is one of the hot topics for debate. No. <laughs> uh, so the uh, yesterday there was a Trump rally. In uh, Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. <laughs> and uh, during the rally, shots were heard. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump in the middle of his speech basically uh, looks like he gets hit. He gets struck. He actually... I think he catches his ear. He, he like kind of like moves and then he touches his ear. Yeah. And yeah. then he goes and then he goes like, what, what is that? And then he goes down and then Secret Service comes in. Secret Service uh, kind of surround him. Uh, do you guys want to watch the clip? Because we have the clip pulled up. Or, uh, or everyone's I seen think the clip? we've all seen it. If you guys want to watch it, we'll I guess we'll link it or something. Yeah, but we'll it's, all, it's all over the news. Yeah, it's all I don't want to put it on. I don't want to put it on YouTube. Yeah, that's fine. So Secret Service uh, then body him and. Mm -hmm. uh, they take him down. Uh, turns out that the uh, shooter was propped up on a building, like right within, like nearby eyesight. Yeah, nearby. Nearby, and uh, Secret Service basically, uh, you know, tackled him. They took him to the ground. They also took him to the ground, but then they picked him back up, mm -hmm. which I thought was weird. Did you see that? Like they like propped him back up, and then when he comes back up, he puts his like fist in the air, which is like now so. The I think the reason for that is they kept him down. The other snipers from Secret Service took out the shooter. Yeah. So in the video you hear, I think it is four shots in total. I think two came from, well, I think it goes, one came from the shooter who came, who got, gave off like a shot or two. Then the Secret Service sniper for, sniper team takes him out. And that's when Secret Service picks him up because they get the word that it's all good. Yeah. So essentially. By uh, the time they're surrounding him, they're all huddling over him yeah that's that's what i thought too because it looked like they already had like taken him out so then mm -hmm. they were just like okay you're safe but we gotta it's still like you don't know if there's a second shooter right so there's the conspiracy conspiracy theories we're gonna go into the details of like the shooter and stuff but I'm, so the far conspiracy theories on this are gonna be insane they're already in the next like two years of documentaries that will come out the conspiracy theories that will come out for this yesterday i was at a birthday party scoosh was there and immediately everyone's like it's fake 
it's a false flag. They're doing it on purpose. This yeah. is the most bullshit. He's just trying to get political opinion. And I'm like, dude, it's not fake. They're like, that. I can't believe it. Why would, how would you miss? I'm like, dude, shooting someone from that distance in like a real scenario, not like a gun range, is fucking hard. And he's and stressed target- out. I mean, the snipers see him. Because mm-hmm. if you look at the... There's a video circulating around from the sniper's point of view as well. Where some, there somebody's recording the snipers on the building. Yeah. And it, it's like they see him. They're like, what is that? Get the go-ahead. But by the time they get the go-ahead, it, it, shots were already fired off. So, I mean, the, the with all that adrenaline coursing through your body... Yeah, you're missing. Yeah, I saw a tweet about that this morning about like how at these events you don't really have any issues with like weaponry. Like the mm-hmm. most you get is like a counter protester being rowdy, yelling, mm-hmm. but that's not going to warrant killing somebody. Right. So now they're actually in a situation where they have to kill somebody that's about to shoot the former president. There's obviously going to be some hesitation there because that this doesn't happen commonly. Yeah, it's my it's my like number one aversion to guns. Is, mm-hmm. is what Frogan said. It's like saying that like there's going to be hesitation. Mm-hmm. It's like if someone breaks in your house and you're like in a scenario where they're going to you, but you, you're going to still hesitate. And that one second alone gives the person who has the jump on you the opportunity to fuck you up. Right. So it was like people, I was just like, I tweeted like, you know, would have helped Trump was a good guy with a gun because like it doesn't matter. Once that person starts shooting, people are already dead. Yeah. You know, and there's already two people that died. So the two people like literally got and Trump missed it by, God, dude, one inch and he would have been dead. Yeah. You know, because it was right here on his ear and it just would have been one inch over. You can hear the snaps, too, from the gun. You can see, you can hear where, like, he, it snaps and then it, it kind of, like, whizzes past him. Yeah. I think, more, I don't, yeah. It, it's, it was wild to see. It was wild to watch. The fact that it was alive. Dude, can us, like, can millennials, not, like, live through, can we not get any more tragedy for the, until we're, like, we're gone? Yeah, I, I you know what I get mad at? What? This is the, the Gen Z hate. <laughs> They're like, millennials are so cringe. I hate when I see that shit. I'm like, bro, we have had the worst shit. We, we went through a lot. We've dude. gone through some shit, dog. Like, Even before leave, I was born, like, we, shit was happening. Leave us alone, dude. Like, we had <laughs> Columbine, which was crazy. We had, we had dude, we had, <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of bad shit. I can't even. I'm, we had the Iraq War. Nine Eleven, the Great Depression, <laughs> which is the 2008 Depression. Okay, yeah. okay. We had Trump. But Zoomers <laughs> were alive for that too. Okay, Zoomers were alive for both, but not at the age most millennials. You, were. you guys are calling me a Zoomer. You are a Zoomer. You are a Zoomer. And I was fully competent at nine eleven with that dude. Lo- yeah, with that large. How old? Ass are, wait, how old were you during nine eleven? I was in kindergarten. Uh-huh. I remember. <laughs> what it, he was, in, he was in first grade. I was in first grade. Dude, okay, I was 13. I remember 9-11. Yeah, you were there. No, I had a concussion, so I stayed home from school, and I was watching movies on Nickelodeon, and then all of a sudden it was the towers. Oh. I remember. Likely story. Yeah, that was him. No, yeah, I mean, I remember everything. Like, I remember 9-11 perfectly. I think, I think the difference, I think I'm just, it's more of a meme, but the difference is that, like, uh, the millennial generation was a generation that got out of high school and into the working force right when 2008, 2000, uh, that depression happened, right. 2011. And that's like, that was like, I just remember how, how unemployed I was and like how I was like looking for jobs and couldn't get shit. Right. You know? And like, I couldn't afford to like eat at Taco Bell. During that time, I was fortunate that I got a job where I did. I was in high school. So Cause I didn't work. You didn't have a I high, worked school in high school job? I wasn't allowed to work. Really? Yeah. Oh, weird. My okay. dad wouldn't let me even work in college either. I really? Had a, I had a secret job. Started working at 11. Dude, my parents made me work at 13 years old. Yeah. I got my 13. Fr- well, 11. 14 Tw- is when 12. I was able, 14 is when I was Where able to actually start getting paid. Where did you it. work? Uh, I worked at an after school. I worked as a counselor for after school. And then I worked. At 12, 11? Like, a, like 13. You counseled people or you worked for a counselor? Worked like as a counselor assistant, essentially. Oh, okay. But I basically was like a counselor. I worked as know? a busboy. And then I got, and then with that job, I started getting paid for it at 14, but I worked for the summer camp throughout mm. the summer. I got my first job. My first job I got was in high school. It was like a temporary thing where I was a camp counselor for a science uh, camp. Oh, that's pretty cool. But that's my, pretty cool. My first real, real job that was Hot Topic that's when sick. I was 18. Hell yeah, dude. That makes sense. Anyway, so back to the shooter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was sick, yeah, we, anyways. we had a little uh, deviation, but it's okay. So, so the sh- Scoot, how, can you go so to the second did, tab? 
second tab. So uh, how did the shooter do? We, is there any information on how the shooter got there? Because yeah, I've seen a couple of things. A I don't want to say this is what happened because I don't have accurate information. But I, from what I saw from a, from around, was that there was a security officer who came on the roof to do like a check, and then he got scared off i saw, I saw that, that as well i saw that pull that up the security officer i saw that too apparently police saw him they found him he was climbing up the ladder but then the guy no, pointed the gun down yeah. at him so then he retreated and then after that split second interaction with the police officer uh he shot trump and then he got i saw that i don't know how true that is no it, this is so recent that i just uh, all information that's coming out is going to be uh kind of hearsay yeah yeah it's still a breaking story so we don't we just don't know all we know for a fact is that there was a shooter it, they shot at trump they missed kind of they hit two people three people i think they th hit three people one sur is in critical condition i believe and then two passed away yeah which is there's horrible. a there's a video uh, scoot I have up that you can click, but there was a doctor who I, I want to show you guys. The doctor yeah. was talking about what he saw. Uh, yeah. So, oh, actually, let's go back to this. The police officer found this is the Newsweek article. Oh, okay. The police officer found um, the shooter on the roof moments before. I think the officer walked up on the roof and then saw the shooter and then ended up like going back down. So, we, is there a way can we see? Because Frogan said they were climbing up the ladder, I, yeah, and then he came down. And yeah, that's then, what happened. So that's what happened. Yeah, okay. that's what happened. Uh, Scoot, can you play the? Uh, there's oh, okay. So the other thing is that um, uh, that happened. The shooter has been identified, and a lot of people don't glorify shooters like in mass shooting situations because you don't want people to do copycat stuff. Yeah, I think that because this is a political thing and it's a part of history, it's almost like. No one's going to forget Lee Harvey Oswald. You right. know? Like, I don't really give a shit about people who do mass shootings. They're pieces of shit, disgusting people. But it's this is now a part of history, and people are going to kind of remember. Although I don't really remember the name of Reagan's shooter. I know that the dude was a, a fucking nut. But anyways, um, it's probably because Reagan didn't die. But uh, right now, the... Was Reagan, Reagan the one who, who got shot at, and the guy missed, right? And then he was like, you missed, Reagan, right? Reagan was shot. I think Reagan was actually shot. And then he one in a landslide so people are concerned that this is going to be trump's, trump's like winning thing winning thing because people are going to be like yeah. he took a bullet it's now going to be the the thing talked about around the world mm -hmm. that donald trump was almost assassinated um yeah so it's going to be one of those things where essentially uh this could win him the presidency i, I think it yeah go ahead oh no go ahead no please what do you, what do you think this him getting shot wasn't the thing that solidified him winning the uh, presidential election. What do you think it, it is? Biden being an incompetent. Everyone saw his performance at the debate. Nobody wants him. Everyone wants him to not run. They want a competent Democratic candidate. Everyone sees how fucking brain dead he is. Like I said last time, whenever we talked about the debate, his brain is literally blended up and poured back into his fucking skull. He has no folds in his brain anymore. He's fucking smooth brained. Yeah. People. That this wasn't going to make him win, especially because it's not like the shooter was somebody that's like a leftist or Democrat. It's a Republican. Well, we kid. don't we don't know because there's two things coming out that he was registered Republican, but he also donated to a liberal PAC like 15 bucks. Which is weird in 2021. But the most recent thing was he's registered. Yeah, Republican. it's confirmed. He's that also he's registered 20 Republican. years old. You know, I when I was 18, I didn't. Have a cho I didn't really have a choice if I wanted to be Republican or Democrat. I'm not telling anybody who I am, what I am, but I didn't have a choice. So I signed up with what my family was. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's all I knew. Yeah. Uh, is it changed today? No, not really. But still, I, at 18 years old, you don't know. You're not really paying attention to politics. You're just listening to what your general circle has. So he might have, but because he's twenty, the the shooter was twenty, right? Is that mm -hmm. correct? By this time, it's been some years. It's been a couple of years. He might have been like, okay, cool, I can vote. Let me do some research now after our, whatever. So it could be registered uh, Republican. He was also wearing a conservative uh, gun, gun merch, yeah. uh, merch from a YouTuber, right? Demolition Ranch, I think it's called. Or I think it's like, like that. a gun tuber. 
gun tuber, gun and veterinarian tuber, from what I understood. I didn't There's see any animal videos on it though. Second to last. So, but I yeah, I found the tweet. It's from Associated Press. They basically said that. Mm -hmm. um, Associated Press reports the gunman pointed a rifle at an officer who discovered him on the roof before the officer retreated down the ladder and Crookston quickly took a shot towards Trump. Got it. So there you go. That's that's good. Well, oh, so the one that Scoot just pulled up is that. Uh, sorry, second to last, dude. The one that I just read. Yeah, we just no, read that. No, this one. Oh, okay. So the FBI identifies the shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks. He's 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Beth Bethel Park. Uh, PA, uh -huh. registered Republican, donated fifteen dollars to Progressive Turnout Project in twenty twenty one. Which, how old would you have been in twenty twenty one? You've been like seventeen, sixteen. Yes. So essentially, he donated right after Biden. But the one thing that, the like, that's what's weird is like he's registered Republican. Like, what was he registered just to vote in the primaries? I mean, he's seventeen years old in twenty twenty one. Uh, and but recent as most three recent. years ago 17 so yeah. you can't register to vote until you're 18 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so clearly that happened pre being able to register to vote yeah and 2021 was a very key year for biden because people saw his COVID 19 response and that's kind of like the turning point for him because they like a lot of people criticize Biden's like the country shutting down and shit like that because of his COVID policies, even though they were shit, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's besides the point. And then you were saying that he was like a, a COVID believer. Yeah, there's a video, Scoot, that you could pull up that basically shows he it's not this one. It's one of it's like his classmate is talking about him. And uh, it may be like closer to the last one. No, it's his classmate, but his classmate basically says that like he got bullied like insane amounts. Uh, go to the last one. Did it get like removed? Go, uh, go to the last tab and go back. That I opened this. Oh, you did? Okay. So his classmate, tell me what he's going on. His, yeah, so his I'll just tell you. But his classmate like went, uh, uh, got interviewed and his uh, classmate basically said like he was bullied like relentlessly. Oh, that like kid? insanely bullied. Yeah, like really bad. They're like, he was just like consistently bullied, bullied relentlessly. And the fact is like, he was just like, like just really bad. Like the basically the classmate sounded like it was awful. Right. And he said he always wore a COVID mask even after COVID. So it could be that he was just like a big on the COVID mask or like a, like he could be a liberal, he could be a conservative, but then still be pro, you know, still with the COVID, like, yo, I'm Republican, but I'm like, I'm, you know, against what's going on with COVID. You just don't know. So he didn't leave a manifesto from what we know. Um, everyone's like saying he's a good kid. He's just like, you know, cause he's white. Like if it was a Arab person, it'd be like, he's a terrorist or whatever. Yeah. I hate when they do that shit. Um, he's like, a oh, good kid. He just kid. wanted to assassinate one person. He's a good kid. Yeah. You know, you know, Anybody can be good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did he shoot the gate ear? The gate. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did shoot his right ear. I think the yeah, left ear. Yeah, it was the right ear. Is the left ear gay or is the right ear gay? Is that a real thing or is that? It's not a real thing, but. Oh, of course it's not a real thing. Dude, my parents told me that when I was a kid. They're like, don't pierce your left ear. That's gay. Is it the left ear or right ear? Right I always ear. it's right ear. Right so ear he got gay? the gay piercing now. He has a hole in his ear. He's, I, dude, I saw a meme. I I don't. <laughs> I saw a meme where somebody's like, "Don't get your ears pierced at Claire's," and yeah. it was a picture of him. That was pretty funny. <laughs> the the f how fast memes came out after this was insane. You think it was we too much? We literally just had a former. Uh, regardless, uh, regardless, you know, I I have my own feelings on Trump. I don't like him, but. The, how fast we came out with memes about this shit is insane. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's wild. It was within like two seconds. There was already 17 memes that were circulating. And I was like, dude, <laughs> did you have these guys? Have, did you have these fuckers stored or God, whatever? I wish I was one of those people. To that, have a meme? That was so quick witted with it. Oh my God. I did, I go, just, I did go viral three times yesterday. I was like, dude, our, I was like, our, le our former leader got shot at. Who cares? She's a shit person. I know, but still, dude. That's like, oh. It's still, if we start, if we start saying, oh, that's okay, then it can do it happen to anybody and then we can't get mad about it. 
You know what I mean? People getting shot is people getting shot. It's not a cool thing. I don't no think it's a cool thing, but he's also a very, very shitty person. Yeah, I know he's a that shitty person. That has advocated person. for violence and has caused violence. No, I'm not saying this isn't... I'm not saying this is... Pence killed. I'm not saying that this isn't a, a, a karmic justice happening. It is. I totally think it is. But it, the fact remains that we're fucked as a country. I mean, it's just very... Me, personally, I'm a, I consider myself to be a very empathetic person, but it's very hard for me to feel bad for him or anybody there considering what they believe their hatred towards minority groups, their hatred towards people that aren't white, mm -hmm. towards immigrants. His ideology is based on racism, hatred. homophobia, Islamophobia, anti-immigrant policies, and all these people support him for a reason. So I'm like, it's hard for me to be like, oh, like, this person, like, I, I just can't feel bad for them. Okay. And that's just my opinion. I don't feel bad for him at all. I just think that we are glorifying someone getting shot in our country no matter who it is i think that frogan's got the leftist response and i think you've got the normie response and i uh -huh. think that the truth what's your response the truth is kind of somewhere in the middle like i think frogan is 100 percent right like how, how the fuck are we gonna feel bad about this guy when he's literally advocating for more genocide of even more palestinian kids yeah i don't feel bad it's not guy. even about palestine I'm, no but i don't like matter. no i'm not relating but, it back to palestine i'm relating it back to literally everything he's done no, in no, his no, presidency no. no no i'm saying and that, his campaign before and his current campaign now. I mean, I'm not just talking about Palestine. I'm talking about everything this this person has done. He has literally gotten people killed constantly. He is a literal mass criminal. Yeah. A mass Sure. The only reason you don't see it that way is because he's not pulling the trigger himself. You think it's okay. He's obfuscated. So normies go, well, he's not actually pulling the trigger. So Oh, I don't have that response at all, dude. But like when, when Henry Kissinger died, it was like almost the same for me. It was like, good like mm -hmm. but at the same bleep time uh, yeah bleep that so but at the same time the issue is uh i don't want violence i don't want him to die i want him to go to jail but i don't I want, want trump to, to, to die jail. i don't want anyone to like replicate this shit or do any more political violence but these are the guys advocating for it so when that violence comes and bites you in the ass you're like yeah bro get fucked you loosen the gun laws you did all this shit it's funny when it happens to you because you're the one who caused this shit I don't I don't think that it should have happened to begin with. I'm on the right side of history. You're on the wrong side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to make it clear. I don't feel bad about him getting shot at all. If I feel bad about anything in the situation, it's about how his actions have caused this to happen. If I feel bad about anything, it's the, it's the bystanders. Yes, granted, they're there and they're supporting somebody who is a piece of shit. But either the, nonetheless, they're citizens and they're bystanders. The ones who got hit, the ones whose families got lost, I feel bad for them. Yeah, to be 100%. honest, I, I don't feel bad for them at all because Here, I yeah. saw I okay. saw a Twitter, saw a tweet from one of the guys that died. It was about Palestine, and he's like, "The Japanese got over it; they can get over it too." Okay, yeah, that's great, but like, so I'm know, just like shitty person. I don't, don't think citizens should. I just don't. Yeah, I, I'm I will, sorry, bleep that. I don't think citizens should. No, I will never advocate for political violence. I, I want to get that out there. I don't. I don't like violence at all. I don't like war. I don't like any of that shit. But addressing the fact that this happened, like I would never be like, oh, I hope somebody like the president. Like that's insane because I also don't want to be put on a list. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say believe that because I don't want to get put on no, a list. I, no, even then, like I'll never be like, yo, I hope this person gets shot. And but even then, like I was like having an inter internal debate yesterday because I'm like, kind of feel bad because like that's obviously a traumatic event. People are going to have to deal with for the rest of their lives. But they're Trump supporters. They're fucking shitty people. They're yeah, shitty but, fucking know, people. But yeah, Trump but, supporters you know, are like your family, your friends. There's a lot of like shitty. I don't care. They're shitty people too. I would. I would never wish but, it. Like I said, but I would if never. We're gonna, if we're gonna talk about it like that, then then you know any kind of tragedy that happened in America regarding any kind of uh, attack that has affected civilian life, we're gonna have to look into deep dive into that. Let's take it for example the Boston. Let's take it for example the Boston uh, bombings, the marathon. Who is to say not set mm -mm. fifty percent? Completely different. How is that completely different? Because this is a political event. That was a political event. The Boston marathon. That was a Boston. A Boston marathon bombings were a politically charged no, they, event, but they weren't a political event. They weren't. It, this, it wasn't a political event. No, yes, I'm saying I this agree. was a political event where everyone gathered there for the same reason. I understand. How for a political ideology? I understand. Nobody deserved. Like I said, I would never wish on anybody. Right. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is that you said you're saying that because 
these people are Republican because they Trump's are at Trump, they're supporting mm -hmm. Trump that they deserved it. And I, I'm saying I'm not saying they don't deserve it. I'm just saying that, I don't feel bad. I understand. Well, I'm saying if we, if we equivocated to that, then any tragedy where somebody who supports a Republican just deserves it. So if it came out that any tragedy that happened. No, that's completely missing the point. This was a political event political event if this was like let's say the boston marathon i wouldn't be like oh this person was a republican they fucking deserve it everyone gathered at the trump rally has this ideology where they clearly support racism homophobia islamophobia anti-immigrant policies they want to push towards fucking white supremacist ideology which trump has made very evident in his campaign policies i don't pity them they're fucking shitty people that's my thing i'm not gonna wish it upon them but since it happened to them, we have to reflect on it. Well, is she? Sorry. I somewhat. I somewhat. Good luck. I, I and I and I feel like I agree with that, but I somewhat disagree in the fact that like there's also reporters there that have that are just there to do their job. There's also people there just like yeah. Organizing. Those are people I feel bad for. The people that had to be there to do their job, sure. But yeah. you're willingly going, waiting in line at six o'clock in the morning to see future President Donald Trump talk about how much he hates immigrants and all that bullshit. But don't you feel bad? Don't you pity those people because they're actually so fucking no. stupid and uneducated that they're just like actually not anymore. No, no, mm -mm. you don't feel like I, no. I do because every time I talk to a Trump supporter, I'm just like, wow, you're actually like the dumbest person I've ever talked to. Like Whatever. you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and it's violence, our system. Violence begets violence, dude. You know, so I guess in that case, yeah, they deserved it. I'm just saying I don't feel bad for them. That's mm -hmm. my that's my take. I like I said, I would never advocate for violence. I don't like violence. People that's what people so I tweeted out as like Trump's about to be so fucking annoying about this. OMG. And people are like, oh, of course you'd have that take. You wish you would fucking <laughs> My take was like, or my take is, would it have been funny if he <laughs> kind of. I'm not gonna lie. It would have been kind of funny if he fucking <laughs> but I would never wish that upon him. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? I would, I wish he would get put into prison, but guess what? He's not going to be put in prison. No, he should be in prison. He's not going to be. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, I, I don't pity these people, especially seeing the tweets of them, like what they tweeted on their Twitter accounts. Don't feel bad. They, they wish violence on other people and it comes and bites them and now they're dead. No. And that's, and that's where like, I'm kind of like, it, it's, it's very difficult because it's like, these people are genuinely like white supremacist like exactly they, they that's are. my thing i'm like and I, they are pushing an agenda of white supremacy and this is the question i have for you is that like if this happened uh if this happened to hitler would anyone care or would people be like see i was gonna bring up that comparison but i thought it was a kind of extreme but it is an extreme it, it okay is. then let's do like a less extreme comparison mm. who's like a less extreme version of him you know because hitler is a is a okay let's say let's say trump would have actually january 6th actually was an insurrection he became a dictator would it be would it be acceptable then to do what this guy did? If he took over the country and became a dictator. That's the problem is that if the violence escalates and they continuously do more and more violent acts, when is it okay for you to resort in violence? Not that I'm saying that this is good. This is not good at all. There's never a good time to resort in violence. But the problem is if the political system is is just like if he's going around and doing like internment camps, all of a sudden you're going to go, well, you can't resort to violence. That's kind of how like a lot of people think and you're like, oh shit, like. No, I mean, I think we just should focus on like the actual facts of what he is as a person, you know? Because like if we do like what about him about him being like a dictator, like obviously like people are going to say, yeah, he deserves deserves a fucking. No, no, 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. But like focusing on what he is as a per like as a person now, like he's a fucking white supremacist uh, piece of shit. He deserves to be in jail. Yeah. I'm not going to shit on people for having different opinions than me. You don't, if you think he should have whatever, you think he should have whatever. Me personally, I have no pity. That's just me. No, no, no. I think, I think, I think that uh, not. But feeling and, and I do. I am fully aware that I have like the the furthest left take you probably possibly could have. Besides, well, Biden said the same shit. Biden's like democracy is on the line, and then you know if democracy is on the line, then all of a sudden like oh, but by the way, I'm gonna call him. There's no there's no thing for violence. Like, but this is the guy who's trying to, this is the guy that you're pitching is trying to take over the United States. The, the only, the, the real problem I have is if we start thinking like, okay, then they, they, uh, I don't have pity for them. They kind of brought it upon themselves. 
Who's to say that the other side doesn't feel that way about they do. Biden? They do. They do. Exactly. So once we start kind of releasing that into the world and being like, oh, okay, well, I'm okay with yeah, it. But they're they're the extremists. They're the ones with the extremists. Yeah, rhetoric. but to them, we're the extremists. Yeah, but but one of them is true. I know. That's the problem. But that's what I'm saying. Well, but we're not. They're not operating in a world of facts. The issue is that they are actual extremists, and what they are doing is pinning the other people as extremists because white people are getting replaced and DEI and they're saying that there's a woman as a fucking uh, agent and that's why Trump got shot. It's the woman. But they're not blaming themselves for losing the fucking gun law so any idiot with the fucking right. you know who gets bullied can go get a fucking gun right. and shoot at the president. There shouldn't be guns. When I have friends come here from the third fucking world, they go, you the third world. Yeah. You have looser gun laws than we do. So when you come here and you're like, oh you know, this is uh you know, oh, but, but you know, the, the 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 Democrats have this crazy take. Why? Because trans people exist. Mm -hmm. What is the crazy take? Okay. Yeah. I, again, fuck the Democrats. I don't. I'm not a fucking Democrat. But what is their crazy take? I, I don't understand. What is their crazy take? They're not advocating for violence. They're not saying that the, you're going to get replaced by white people. They're not saying these things. These guys are, and then they're pointing the finger and going, "Look at these extremists." And then when those same people, like when violence happens to them. They're like, oh my God, we really all got to sit down as a nation and work together. It's like, no, you've been, you're the one dividing. And what happened with America is that people for years, we always had a, we always had an enemy in America, right? We had the fucking, we had the red scare before that we had fucking world war two. We had the Nazis. Then we have the red scare and then we have the fucking war on terror. Okay. And now we have the war. Uh, we have the civil war, the American civil war. All this is getting sold to you. You fucking, I know that there's haters watching this. You fucking idiots. You're getting sold this constantly that there's, oh, we're the enemies, Frogan, enemy, Raf, enemy. We're not the enemy. They're selling this to you. You're eating up the slop like a fucking moron and eating that shit. And it's not true. And the fact is like th these people are, you know, th they're, these are the ones selling this slop and it's biting them in the ass. And usually it bites, usually it bites like liberals in the ass. More violence is done against liberals than it is done against conservatives. So violent crimes, uh, you know, statistically are more done by conservatives, like more hate crimes. Like there's more, you know, that's why we keep track of like how much violent crime is done, like because of like, well, like hate crimes, you know? So it, it's, it, I don't feel bad. Okay. I understand where Frogan's at. I don't feel bad, but I also am like, this is horrible. Yeah. This isn't where we should be as a nation. And it's the media's fault. It's Congress's fault. It's everyone's fault. And, you know. I hope to God that Biden can maybe somehow, because right now they don't want to kick him out anymore because mm -hmm. now he's now it's a major political event, can somehow daddy up and maybe put piece the country back together. But I don't I don't think he can because these guys have wedged a divide so long. I don't I don't mean to go on a rampage, but you know what I do agree is I do agree it will set a precedent. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to navigate that or mitigate that in my thoughts. To be quite honest. No, I totally understand. I'm just thinking long term. I mean, like this is what happened now, great, and that's because of a long-standing history of gun laws and gun reversal laws and gun reversal reversal laws, and it's the gun laws are not going to change. The first thing that's going to go is not gun laws. But why? How many times do we have to do this? But it's not because it because people create narratives in their head and do anything to that would protect their right to do something. Wait, but, Dude, you know what I mean? Like, okay, but at the end of the day, that we're in. at the end of the day, these motherfuckers are selling you on the fact that you got to take up arms to defend yourself exactly. against your government. And then the people do that. Exactly. So that's when what they I'm fucking, saying. They that's literally, what I'm saying. Yeah, the guy literally took up arms but that's what I'm to defend saying. himself against that's his tyrannical that's exactly, government. That's exactly why I'm saying it's not going to fucking change. I don't want it to stay around. I think the gun laws here are atrocious. There should be no reason a 20 year old owns an AR. Well, you, but that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to say is that like, that's why you can't feel bad in the same sense as like these motherfuckers are telling you that your government's coming to get you. And then they go fight against their government. And then you're like, well, there's no, there's no thing for violence. We, that we If there's no thing for violence, we should have guns. But that's why I'm conflicted. Everyone is conflicted. No, that's why not everyone's conflicted. She's not, <laughs> she's not conflicted. Even she's, she's, she's very steadfast in her ways, and I love that about her. Okay, well, I'm conflicted. But I'm saying I'm conflicted. It's, it is a conflicting emotion. Nobody deserves to die. Yeah. Okay, but if the worst person died tomorrow, you'd be like, I'm oh, not that big of a deal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. That's the thing is like, that's the, that's the conflict here. It's, it's, like, just, it's just the parameters of your own morals and ethics. 
I have none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, and I'll, so many people agree with Frogan. It's like fuck that guy. No, yeah, that's, that's I like, agree with. I agree with her too. Fuck, fuck that guy. I don't. But I you fuck him. But you also. But have, I'm like thinking like, but still. No, I mean, I get it. I get it. It's just, it's just like if I say fuck that guy, you don't want more violence. I just don't want more. I just don't want more, dude. Yeah, I know. It's not going to end. Yeah, I know. It you know, sucks. it's just not going to end. It's, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just not going to end. Say you don't want more violence right now. I've, I've, I've clarified that multiple times. Yeah, okay. just clarified. Yeah, it. I've said that. I said I would never wish for I'm political not, violence. Not. I'd never advocate for it. <laughs> but the fact that it happened. No, it's kind I, of fucking funny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. A- yeah, it is funny. I'm not asking you for me. I'm asking you for the morons who are gonna. No, like, I mean you know, I've hate. said it clearly multiple yeah. times. If you have, rewind it twenty yeah, minutes, if you have dirty fucking ears or some shit, like that's on you. But yeah, he's gonna run with it. He's gonna be like, dodge the bullet. Yeah, the fastest bullet <laughs> Dude, in the this, world. I will say, I will say, the photos that came out with him went hard as fuck. Oh, he him? knew what he was doing. Exactly, dude. Yeah. He, he, he knew, knew he, he had doing. to pose, bro. And that's I was like, why, that dumb and I think fuck. that's also why people are saying, oh, it was a coup set up by him to do to get shot so that he could have some sort of winning. <laughs> no, because just, those photos, <laughs> they went fucking hard. They were really dude, cool. I saw them. I'm like, f- I'm like, he knew exactly what he the fuck he was doing. Really he's cool. going to, he's uh, the merch that's going to come out about that. It, sh- it already did. Dude, dude, it came out an hour after it yeah. happened. Yeah. An hour after they it, already insane. it. Yep. The his the new history books, the American history books that you get in high school, yeah, or like middle school, that picture is gonna go hard. My goal is to be in a history book. Is it? Mm-hmm. Please don't say that. <laughs> no, not for anything bad. I don't, yeah, know. I don't want I you to get like, shot at. I feel dog. like it. not for anything bad. I want to be like for like advocacy. You know. Okay, then advocate. Go advocate. Advocate for what? Tangerines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Advocate for Halloween because you dress like it today. Whoa. Bitch, look who's talking black and orange. <laughs> yeah, you both of you guys are Halloween. Are we Halloween out? Oh, wait, you're kind of Halloween out too. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wait, are we matching? Well, I'm green. <laughs> we got, yeah, you're green and orange and yellow. I'm green and orange, and he's black and orange and tan. Yeah, yeah. And you got the and same you're hat. Tan. Yeah. Oh, you know, all I gotta say is, Hawk to a girl had a chance to save this country. You fuck that bitch. <laughs> I'm sick of you talking I can't about her. Stop the bullet. And she are, wasn't you still, there. are you still? Are you on Hawk to a girl? I, I love her. This is why he's a so millennial. Much. This is his most millennial coded fucking moment. Him yeah, being I was going to say, this is the dumbest shit like, I've oh, ever heard. You spit on her dick when you suck a dick. Oh my God. You and every fucking dick. house. I'm not going to explain it to you again. There's nothing to do about the dick. It's just the silliness of it. Okay, it's silly, but you, you make a whole fucking. Yeah, I know. It's silly, but. Wait, what did you say? You like it? Scoot yeah. likes it. Yeah, of you course guys... you do. You're, you guys are both fucking weird. Anyways. What about me? You're weird too. No, I don't like it. You're, you're weird in your own ways. <laughs> I can't get a fucking point with Frogan, None dude. Of us are gonna win. I literally do the right thing. Frogan's like, you're weird in a different way that I'm not going to talk about right now. Like, you know what? I love Hawk to a girl, dude. Spit on that thing. Nah, dude. I don't Spit like on that no, thing. No, high five. You love her so much. High five on it. Huh? Shake his hand. No. The fist part? First part. Spit on that thing. Oh, you actually spit. That was insane. <laughs> Yeah, that's insane. No one does that. Who spits like puh? Yeah, you, you do hawk tua. You don't you don't actually spit. You're actually spitting. It's the energy about the hawk tua. Okay, it was funny. If, if the whatever. It was funny. Frogan's just mad because she's more successful than. I don't give a fuck. I'll thing. suck a dick and become famous too. No, you won't. I will. No do one right wants now. you to suck their dick. Hmm. <laughs> really? I'm mean. sorry. That was me. No, <laughs> that was really me. Anyways. <laughs> I didn't say it. I'm on. Can, can you? Can you need a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it only took 25 episodes or 27. We did it. Finally, you did it. <laughs> no, that's so fucked up and rude. Holy shit! You were yelling at me. I fought back, girl. I wasn't yelling at you. I was talking about something factual about somebody that wasn't you, and you had to make it personal because I said, "Oh, some dumb bomb bitch with no lips said hawk to us. I got stuck on a fucking dick." You're right, and I apologize. I'm Anyways, on, I'm, on your, I'm on your side this time. But yeah, spit on that. Let thing, me go right? on tour because I said one funny thing in a random street interview. Okay, I think it's very stupid and silly, and I I hate it. Okay, I hate when people go f- viral for really dumb weird shit, and then they get like brought around like fucking they're paraded around like a fucking show dog for like two weeks, and then we forget about them. And I think it's really really sad because it happens all the time. Everyone's like, I'm famous for something stupid. Is it fun? No, I don't I don't find it fun. Is it funny? Yeah, it's funny, but like. 
It's is it's a meme. I don't know. I, she, I didn't I never understood it. I don't understand. She said it. she doesn't want to be known for it, but like that's all she's fucking doing. Yeah, but the thing you is, you showed up else, to a club how, She has, I, she literally has a, a appearance in a Long Beach tonight. Yeah, but what? Oh, we should go. Fuck that. But but here's the deal. But what's what? If you got famous for one little thing, like uh, you're gonna leverage that to like make people like you for other things. Not really. Oh, like it's. She said one thing. Okay. She said she doesn't want to be known for one thing. Okay. Yeah, she's doing other one things. thing. She's not going around and spitting on dicks. She's going around to like fucking things. I'm like, huck to a, like she's literally just going to random fucking places and saying it. Yeah, but that's capitalizing on the moment and saying like, you ever hear the shiny object theory? Did they ever teach you that, buddy? Did they ever teach you that? Did they ever teach you that? No. It's like when you're writing a movie script, right? Like you're like, hey, I love, I want, I would, I would love to see a superhero, right? So that's like the shiny object. It's like, look over here, look over here, little baby, look over here. And then you're like slowly making them care about you. Like you're sliding in. Right. Like our shiny object for this episode is like the Trump assassination attempt, but we really want them to care about us. I would love to have a whole episode of just us talking about ourselves and spitting on peepees. Okay. But we really are like, look at the Trump thing. We have to talk about the thing that we, you know, I actually want to talk about this. We, we, we pick stuff we want to talk about. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, look at this, look at the shiny object. That's really what it is. So she's like, Haktua, but I would love you to like subscribe to my podcast and like care about me as a person. Like, nobody wants to be known for one thing. Do you want to be known for whatever your tweet was on October's 9-11? Thing is, I've tweeted more on his shit too, though. Yeah, but they're never, but you are still going to be remembered for that one thing up amongst certain communities. Here's the thing. Yeah. The reason why I'm remembered for it is because they don't realize that I was more educated than they were that day. Okay. That shit aged like wine. The reason why you, uh, they're only going to be remembered for Hawk Tua is that women all across the world weren't spitting on cocks. Until that happened, and she was more educated on how to spit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and now women everywhere are just spit on <laughs> There's a spitting epidemic happening right now. <laughs> there's there's going to be diseases. As a public health expert, what kind of diseases can you get from spitting on that thing, dog? <laughs> Stop being so mad about it. You you have one friend in the room right now. You're going to get mad at me. Go back to Raph, dude. Go back over there. I'm not okay? talking to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, should we get back into the Trump shooter? Because What one else is there to say? Uh, there's more stuff. Did you not see that they didn't secure the fucking building across the street on yeah, the perimeter? We already talked the about Secret that. The Secret Service fucking up, and now they're they're basically saying that it's DEI, it's diversity inclusion, and they're saying that the woman that was Secret Service is the reason. <laughs> oh, the Blackwater, uh, Blackwater ad, the the BlackRock ad. Uh, yeah, he's in a fucking BlackRock ad, and now they're saying he's a deep state initiative. What's BlackRock? Also, who's in the BlackRock ad? The uh, oh, the the kid. Yeah. It's it's like uh, BlackRock. Let me give you the breakdown because I just did this on stream the other day and I don't want to be wrong about it. Scoot, can you pull it up actually? It's right here, isn't it? Do I tweet this or is this too bad? What is that? Splinter. What does it say? Hmm. In what context? I don't understand it. I don't get it either. You don't get it? Okay, let me give you the context real quick and then I'll, I'll, show, I'll show the podcasters. They'll see it. Can I get my coffee? Online. Yeah, go get coffee. You tired? Okay. Wait, Raph. We're going to do this mm. live. We've never done this before. Let's see if it actually does well. Sure. I don't understand. Splinter is missing an ear and so is Donald Trump. Oh, I didn't even see the picture. Oh, no, you're a pussy. Why? You're just stealing the Pokemon tweet I showed you. Yeah, but this one's better. It's Splinter. No, the Pokemon is better because it looks like Donald Trump. Okay, true. It's not that good. There you go. It's not good. Okay. All right. Hold on. No, uh, it's a really good tweet. Yeah, pull it up on the screen so they can see it. I'm not going to find the, be able to find the tweet. I'm just going to show them the Pokemon. Show show us the Pokemon so so we can show All it right. on the they pod. They made this Pokemon okay. in 2017. They made a Pokemon. You could have used the fucking screen. I'm going to pull it up right now. <laughs> notice, the, notice the ear. That has oh, to be a Trump. Man. That is a Trump Pokemon. And the ear is missing. They, they apologized for it when it happened. They're like, we promise we did not base it off of any political. Oh, it's 100% <laughs> Trump. They did this like, like right before he started running for president. I'm sorry, dog. This is Trump. Yeah. 
Come on. I'm pretty sure he is a... Pokemon predicting things now? He is defined as a... Mongoose Pokemon. Oh, yeah, the Mongoose. They're always so racist. Did you know that about Mongoose? I don't... Did you know that mongoose were racist? Yeah, a study came out recently that showed. Can we do a fake fake TikTok <laughs> real quick? I want to hear about the BlackRock thing. Oh, the BlackRock. Oh, Scoop, pull up BlackRock. Hold up. So it's the BlackRock. I just ad? Wanna, no. So BlackRock had an ad. What's BlackRock? Uh, hold on. BlackRock is defense contractors. Got it. Uh, but they are also they're like an investment management and financial services uh company. But I, the reason why I don't want to talk about it until I have it is that I had connected them with, um, I connected them with something major recently and I forgot what it was and it's going to kill me. Do you want me to pull up the ad? Uh, no, just put like what, what people, what BlackRock does. Like, oh yeah, play the ad, play the ad, play the ad first. Show the ad. So he's in the ad. This is, this is confirmed. I teach AP and honors economics in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Financial well-being to me is knowing that I can be free to do the things that I love to do. I hope when I retire someday, they say that guy made this place a special place to come to school and that was as him? much as he yeah. could to help the community. That doesn't mean anything. He was just a student that was an extra. Yeah. But people are saying that that's like a conspiracy with BlackRock hired him or something. Yeah, basically, because it's like a big inf investment. Uh, oh, well, oh, oh, now oh. we're seeing the shooting. Oh. So they're, they're, they operate. Also, BlackRock operates the world's largest uh, Bitcoin fund. They're just like a funds manager, but they also deal with, uh, I believe. Private contractors. They also deal with defense contractors, but they're like an investment firm. Um, mm, okay. But there was. It's uh, the reason why I'm being like really stupid about BlackRock right now is that I tied them with something that had to do with like Palestine and Israel the other day and I couldn't and I'm trying to figure it out. I'm looking through like my notes on my phone because it was for a stream. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, people are saying that he's like a deep state operative because of that. And he appeared in the ad. So he works with the deep state and he was. It's all conspiracy theories. There's also people pulling shit on 4chan with anonymous users saying that like, oh, we were told by Secret Service to stand down. I was actually the sniper. And I was told by the Secret Service to like stand down and not shoot at him. Uh, and it's Who, all the bullshit. sniper. Yeah, the sniper that shot him. Yeah, he, he th there's like videos of um, there's videos of the sniper. Um, basically, no, there's there's saying four, he has four a shot. messages saying I had the shot and the Secret Service told me to stand down. So could you just pull this up? Let me. Let, can you can you full screen this? This is where he was at. And they didn't have anyone on that building securing that building. Like the easiest shot at the president, they didn't have anyone on that building. This is where I'm saying like all the conspiracy theories are going to start coming out. Well, this just it's just the fucking they fucked up, dude. Like they did. They're in the middle of a thing. He, they were saying it was 15, even secret, even when I watched the video, Secret Service didn't even react that fast. Usually Secret Service, they react within like a second. Yeah. It seemed like it was like three, four shots went off and then Secret Service kind of came in. Do you think our institutions are failing or that they were always kind of uh, smoke screens to begin with and people are uh, just finding the holes in it? F realizing that all you have to do is kind of poke through it and the institutions are failing. What do you think, bro? Think the Secret Service always sucked or do you think that they're just sucking now? I mean, they really haven't had to deal with something like this in the modern times. Yeah. It's you been know? a long time. Yeah. I think you should drive in the Pope Mobile from now on. I do think, though. I don't think he should because then people will see him as the Pope. Do you remember what the Pope mobile was? Mm -hmm. Do you remember it? It was like a big, it was glass a big giant glass box. Like plexi yeah. Because he got shot at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, dude, it's literally. <laughs> do you ever report? see those things where like babies are in when they're like doing x rays on them? It's basically like that. It's before literally the human it's, but Yeah, and it's like on a hearst. Yeah. But, anyways, go. A hearst? Hearst. <laughs> Hearst. Yeah, it's kind of wild that they didn't have Secret Service posted up there. On that on the first building closest yeah, to him. Yeah, that's insane. They didn't have anyone there. Like that's a, and you know how we got up there was a fucking ladder. Yeah. And then like a cop saw him and like walked down, not like, "Hey, you know, get them off." Like No, but, I wouldn't even say cop. I a security guard is what it was, right? I'm unsure, but I know that uh civilians who couldn't get into the rally 
were also standing in the bushes watching him over there. Mm -hmm. And they saw him on the roof and they were trying to signal to the people like, yo, there's someone on the roof. But nobody was listening to them. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because I saw the TMZ video of him on the roof and being like, and people were like, yo, dude. And then all of a sudden you can see the guy get shot. So in my head, they probably, they probably thought he was like a guy trying to get a better view of the president. And then when they look closer, he had a fucking gun. Damn. But, the, but oh, there should have been secret service on that building. Yeah, there should have been. That so. that's insane. I mean, look, it's the closest building. I mean, like, and Trump is literally right there. That's so stupid. I don't know, man. I I I don't think that. I think that this is just genuinely like a, a big fuck up of the secret service. Mm-hmm. I think that it's very funny. Did you know that secret service deals with financial crimes too? Which is so weird. What? Yeah, I didn't. I did know that actually. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I think we found that out at the same time. Recently. I think we did too. It's weird. Did you know that they deal with like um, financial crimes because they needed something else to do and they do it for like money. Yeah, it's really weird. Like they do this and financial financial crimes. I thought they only protect the president. You yeah, know? it's just a bunch of finance bros protecting the president. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Crypto bros. <laughs> hey man, I got this. Hey, don't worry about it, Trump. I watched Andrew Tate. I know what I'm doing. Crypto. Yeah. Crypto's going up. Yo, dude, uh, dude, I saw, I saw, I got a, one of my tweets went viral because I, I added uh, Blair White, uh, the uh, alt-right uh, trans, mm-hmm. and she said, uh, you, this person took a bullet for our country, you need to fucking support the president, blah, blah, and I'm like, bro, Insane. I just put cringe. Yeah, that's cringe. It's such a cringe take to be like, he's got also, shot. He was shot. He was shot in our country, not bullet for our country. <laughs> yeah, he went to war in, in, a, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, no, dude, it's crazy. Uh, but th- that's basically it. I mean, right now it's still breaking. We're still learning more. No manifesto, uh, no motives, no digital footprint. He's still like a- at a young age that there's not really a digital footprint. Um, so he didn't really like tweet anything unhinged, you know? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we, I think I've said everything I thought. Yeah. Do you want to move on to something else? Scoot, how, what are we at right now in time? Uh, 53. 53 minutes. Oh, fuck yeah. We've got, st- we've got stuff to talk about. We've got a big month of, uh, we have a, a big is, month of guests. This is the big worst month of guests. Transition I've ever heard. It is a bad transition. I'm fucking up right now. Brogan, what's up with you? What's new? Nothing. <laughs> That's the most insane thing. I do the same thing every fucking day. Well, are you sad about it? I mean, you sound, you sound weird about it. Yeah, I feel like I'm in that fucking episode of Squ- uh, SpongeBob where Squidward's in the Squidward ethno state. And he just does the same thing every day. Wait, there's a Squidward ethno state. It's like one of the early, one of the earlier episodes. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Sabra fucking character on Marvel. Oh yeah, the Israeli, the uh, yeah, they're Israeli. putting an Israeli in the movie. I yeah. thought she's been a thing. No, wait, in the movie, dude, in the new Captain America trailer came out, and Scootish had like told me that there's going to be a. Israeli Mossad agent in the new Captain America. And I'm like, no way. Then we looked up the actual comics and in the comics, Hulk and her get in a fight and Hulk is trying to save a Palestinian. And she's like, thinking that's a, he's like a, a terrorist. Recent, that's a Have recent you not comic. seen this? It's not re- that is not a recent. It's not I recent. Thought re- I thought that was recent. No, dude, it's from it's the like, 80s. When did that come out? Original comic. Oh, from the really. And then the Palestinian wasn't, wasn't, dies. Wasn't her name like Israeli Sabra. girl? It's so good. Oh, Sabra. Her name is Sabra, which everyone's like Sabra and Shatila massacre. So they had to change her name now to Ruth, which is like, you know, her, the, name the, is always his, Ruth, her name's Ruth, but she's not going to be Sabra in the comics, from my understanding, or in the movie. That's what that's what Marvel just clarified because they got called out. I don't think she has anything to do with, with Israel, the character anymore. I think her they're taking a lot from her. Oh, they, they, they did it before uh, J- uh, October 7th. Really? Yeah. So, and she Hulk's trying to save a Palestinian. So the Hulk goes, your books made you guys fight because you both want the land and you guys are fighting over the land. And, and this Hulk boy no understand. <laughs> Hulk no understand. It literally goes, Hulk doesn't I understand. See this. I did see this. <laughs> Hulk confused. And then it won't. You read paper. <laughs> Remember the one that you, you tweeted at it? And it was like, it was like, I won't work with a Jew. And it's an Arab. Yeah. <laughs> and it's in a Marvel comic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, because because they wrote the, the catchphrase they wrote for her was uh, fuck. What was the catchphrase? She had an insane catchphrase that no Jew has ever said in their entire life. 
Oh yeah, I forgot what it was, dude. It was like, oh, oh my star of David. <laughs> No one has ever said that. The comic is so racist for both sides. No Jew has ever said, oh, my star of David. Marvel United. They were trying to take like a, where are they trying to take like a Wonder Woman saying? Doesn't Wonder Woman say my, oh, my stars and garter? Is, or is that Captain America that says that? I have no idea, dude. I don't fucking Captain know. America says, oh, my stars like, and garter. like, oh, my stars with David. Then the Arabic guy's like, I won't work with a Jew. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like this is insane. You, you were like, "What the fuck, dude?" Like, no Jew ever said that in the history of Jews. I didn't imagine ca- imagine Jews getting lost in the desert. <laughs> Just be like, "Oh my, oh my star, of David, it's hot outside." <laughs> like that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh my star, of David. I hope this oil lasts longer than a day. <laughs> they, need to, they need to redub curb your enthusiasm with that in there yeah. <laughs> just oh my star of day <laughs> yeah just have him have, <laughs> let larry so david racist. have a catchphrase <laughs> yeah. oh my star oh of, my star of larry david. david insane dude dude it was bad it was so bad and then like the palestinian dies and it was just like you guys are fighting over the land because you're old books i'm like Bro, dude, they they united Arabs and Jews in that situation because now we know that the real enemy is just uh, Americans that fucking hate us. <laughs> it was so bad. But she's still in the movie. The trailer comes out, and the girl who's playing uh, that character is actually Israeli from Tel Aviv. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, they got to get rid of her, right? They're not going to put her in the movie. No, she's still in the movie. And the trailer came out, but she's like a Mossad agent. But essentially what Scootish was telling me is that She's different than Captain America. It was like semi-based because she'll do anything her country tells her and doesn't question where Captain America will like actually question. Oh, America. so it's accurate. Yeah. It's historically accurate. So that, I mean. She's also not a Mossad agent in the movie from what I've. Read. She's not a Mossad agent. From the, yeah. Because I. Agent. Th- they, they had to clarify it with IGN because people saw her in the movie and were like, what the fuck? I thought you took her out. So they went and did like another interview being like, hey, she's not anything to do with Israel. Because that would have been, I mean, just picking any side, it would lost them a shitload of money. It's just like, don't, don't do that. You know, personally, I mean, it would be cool if they did a base take, you know, they do like a pro Palestinian thing, but I don't know. It's never going to happen for us. So I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. You know, I was like talking about this the other day. I was like, you just, I was like, this is one of, this is crazy, but you just don't see like. They were like, we're talking about like racism in movies. I'm like, most movies are racist towards Arabs because we're always the bad guys. Right. Like, no matter what, you don't see like an Arab guy like fighting, you know, like I, I think that Marvel tried to change that a little bit. They were trying to like, they did that with the Mandarin, which was super racist character. I don't know if you know that. He's supposed to be like a the Mandarin. Uh, yeah. supposed to be like a Chinese guy. And he was like super like, it was racist. And basically they did that with him. And then like in Iron Man 3, they made him a white guy claiming to be someone else. Oh, did you not see Shang Chi? I did. I know that they they the people were mad about that, but they were trying to be based. So then Shang Chi fixed it because they actually did a very good, like that was, that was the whole thing. No, Shang Chi Sh- Shang Chi made it so they did Shang Chi made it not racist. Even in the uh, one shot film that released um, with Iron Man three where he's like a big celebrity for doing what he did. Uh, the guy interviewing him says, you're not the we're, we're Yeah, the I know that. I, serve him. I know that. Yeah. The, the reason why I'm saying it is that they tried to make it based and make it not racist because the Mandarin inher- inherently was like a racist character. But then people were like, no, you need to just do the Mandarin because it is his like arch nemesis. I don't know if but you know that, but like uh, Iron Man's arch nemesis was the Mandarin. And then basically they, when they did the Chung chi movie, they were able to... They, they fixed it. They kind of like redconned it with a second video. And then even in the chung chi movie, they were like, okay, now that we have like actual, like we actually have some representation, we can make this character and not make it fucking racist. Like white guy defeats fucking Iron Man's kind of in a fucked position because he became popular because of Robert Downey Jr. But before that, he was not popular. No, 100%. he had to be paired in the Avengers because no one liked Iron Man. Yeah. So he, his arch nemesis are other characters, doc, arch nemesis like Doctor Doom. Yeah. Uh, characters that they don't have the rights to until very recently. Uh, yeah, but the Marvel is fucked right now with Captain America specifically because it has a $350 million budget now with the, all the reshoots they did. 
which means in order to break even, they need to make one billion dollars in the box office. No, they're not going to do that. Nobody cares about Marvel anymore. And it's going to be a black lead, so people are going to be fucking racist exactly, about it. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to blame. They're going to blame. Mackie. They're going to blame yeah. Anthony Mackie. And Anthony Mackie is, does a fantastic job in that role. I think he kills Falcon and he kills Captain America. Although I didn't really love Captain America Winter Soldier show. It was kind of mid. You're mid. It was whatever. I mean, the best show was Loki, I think, and then that was basically it. I think all the shows were okay, but anyways, that that was the uh, that was the news there. It was just. Crazy. Yeah, it's, inc- it's insane. Super cringe. All right. Uh, do you guys want to wrap it up? Do some Patreon because we do have. We're doing a double episode today. So you son of a bitch. We're not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then cut that. Cut it. Cut it. Maybe we had an hour of, of talking about Donald Trump. But, ooh, quitting time. We have another one today. <laughs> Sorry. I know you're good. Sorry. Yeah, let's wrap it up. We'll just we'll just cut it. Let's uh, wrap it up. Uh, let's wrap it up and then we'll do the Patreon. Guys, uh, you know, we 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 filmed this. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you on the Patreon. We'll do some Patreon content right now and then yeah. we'll see you there. Sounds good. See you on the Patreon. All right, bye. 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 Oh, 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 if you made it to the end, comment. Uh, comment. Uh, I was the shooter. Don't, don't comment don't that. Don't comment I was the shooter. Don't comment I was the shooter. <laughs> just com- comment. Uh, just comment a little thumbs up with your favorite emoji. That's yeah, it. That sounds good. I love when I see those comments because it means you made it to the end. It's really cool. Really, really nice. I always like a light heart and uh, thumbs up those comments. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you on the Patreon. You know, like kind of like the empire, like the empire flag. Isn't that what the gays have a whole phobia made after them? They're pretty scary. Yeah, but I know. But like, that's what I'm saying. We need to embrace the phobia. If I'm if I'm a gay.